Hi everyone, welcome to Kowan's Kitchen. For today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how I make the black garlic shortbread. It is another recipe that I developed myself because I like the flavour of black garlic. So, let's start making it! The ingredients of the black garlic shortbread are 12 grams of black garlic, that is approximately 4 to 5 cloves, 60 grams of sugar, 60 grams of unsalted butter, 60 grams of shortening, 180 grams of bread flour, 10 grams of cornstarch, 2 egg yolks, and 2 grams of salt. With this recipe, you'll get approximately 16 biscuits of half an inch thick. The recipe seems a bit complicated because I was trying to balance the flavour and the texture while controlling the extent of spreading. That said, you can certainly simplify the recipe by replacing the shortening with butter and by removing the egg yolks. You can also use plain flour instead, but you may need more than 180 gram to make the dough into the right consistency. I'm showing the simplified version here, and you can also find it in the description below. Now, to make the black garlic shortbread, first separate the egg yolks from the whites. Then, peel the black garlic cloves. After that, weigh and put the black garlic, sugar, butter, shortening, flour, cornstarch and salt into a mixing bowl. Like regular shortbread, please note that the butter should be diced in advance, and the smaller the cubes are, the better the result will be. Now, toss and mix the ingredients. Then rub the diced butter and the black garlic into the mixture with your fingertips. The dough will stick together quicker than regular shortbread because there is extra moisture from the black garlic. After the ingredients are rubbed in together, add the egg yolks and knead to combine. Try to knead as little as possible to prevent too much gluten developing in the dough. Now you have the dough. Transfer it onto a sheet of baking paper and flatten it to half an inch thick. You can use a rolling pin and a ruler, or you can also do so by simply pressing the dough with the palm of your hand. For half an inch thick, it is approximately half of the top knuckle of the index finger, so you can also use your fingertip as a reference. After that, you can cut the dough with a biscuit cutter of your choice, and transfer the cutout dough onto a baking tray that is already lined with baking paper. Then, the cut-out biscuit dough has to be chilled in the freezer for at least one hour. After the cut-out biscuit dough is chilled for at least one hour, preheat the oven to 130 degrees Celsius with fan. If you're not using a fan often, please refer to the description for the temperature conversion. After the oven is preheated, bake the shortbread biscuits for 30 minutes. Then turn the oven up to 160 degrees Celsius and bake for another 10 minutes. Since the dough is already brown in colour, it could be difficult to see if the edge is browned when the biscuits are done. That said, when the biscuits are done, you should still be able to see the edge being slightly darker. Alternatively, you can judge by smell. You should be able to smell a strong fragrance from the biscuits when it's baked. After the biscuits are baked, let them cool on the tray until they are at room temperature. Now you have the black garlic shortbread. As you can see, there is basically no spreading at all and because of the addition of egg yolks and the black garlic, it is a bit softer in the middle and less crumbly than regular shortbread. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what you think about this recipe and your experience of making it. Please also like and subscribe to this channel for more cooking or baking videos in the future. See you next time in Kohan's Kitchen.